Hey guys, what's up? It's Dennis from Dennis World of Bodybuilding. I asked you guys if you want to have a, uh, you know, a video about the new Museum Bio location and the new date of the postponed Olympia um, this year. And you overwhelmingly said yes, so I had to do this video and I'm, I love to do it. So let's start with it. Before starting the video, please subscribe to my channel. We are growing and we want to grow even more. So let's start. Um, actually, the great thing is I think that the Olympia will not be in 2021. So I think lots of major sports events were postponed to next year. Um, and without, you know, we're thinking that I think the Olympia is definitely, it's a huge event, you know, for us guys, but Comparing that to, let's say, the soccer world championship and stuff, the Super Bowl, those are so they are so huge. Those events that you couldn't easily postpone it a couple months. You know, the the organization of those events is not comparable with the Olympia, even if it's big for bodybuilding. So I think they are they are big enough, but they're small enough that they can actually still do it in 2020 so that's a great thing that's one positive side of being not too huge but and the other thing is they postpone it you know into december so i know lots of even you know more serious athletes that are not were not able to train or they didn't want to train because of safety and because you know in some countries it was illegal to train even on your own and stuff so what i want to tell you is that they did a great job by postponing it seven months because that's really enough time even when the gyms you know start you know this month next month they have still time to prep for the o and also um obviously they wouldn't do it on you know december 24 25 31 and stuff so they did what they can in postponing it, you know, far, far to the end of the year. And of course, some athletes still need to qualify. That's one huge thing also. So we have 215 days left, which is over seven months, you know, dividing it through 30 for each month. And it will be on the weekend of December 16 to 20. We will have a bunch of uh, qualification uh, uh, competitions which will be interesting because if you check the list of qualified athletes you will see that uh, the qualified athletes you know those are guys that are let's just read them out Brandon Curry is the current Miss Olympia obviously William Bonac who won the Arnold Classic is qualified Heidi Chupin is qualified Dexter Jackson is qualified, Rolly Winkler is qualified, Phil Heath is qualified, Cedric McMillan, Nathan Yasha, Juan Morrell, James Lewis. So the top guys, even if no one could do a, a qualification show today till the Olympia, it still could be a great show. That's the that's a positive thing. At the other side, if you check the points, you will see that big there is a big Rami in there who isn't and you know for sure qualified yet so um i think he a guy like big rami he wants to do it for sure and so he wants to do a qualification show and he i think he would have done the new york pro and stuff if corona wouldn't happen and you know so i would say that um with the new dates and stuff i think we might see big rami on the stage before the olympia even so we can definitely argue and comment about Big Rami's chances at the O. So I think definitely if those guys add up, you know, if you check Big Rami and all the guys who are not in, who don't have points yet, but if you want a pro contest, you directly have points. So even a guy like Sergio Oliva Jr. still needs points if you check him out. Max Charles, he needs points. Those guys, they need points, you know. Uh, by the way, again, uh, rest in peace, Luke Sando, who passed away. When I'm talking about about this stuff, I always remember on on the times where I talked, you know, about and other people too. Of course, 
about Luxando as the next upcoming guy and it's sad because you're reporting about this and you have Luke in your in your head you know that's that's crazy that's a crazy situation but what I want to say to you and what I find very interesting is um, that actually of course Jay Cutler is qualified too Ronnie Coleman is qualified too Arnold Schwarzenegger is qualified too for the Olympia because he won the Olympia at least once okay those guys but what I find interesting is that they didn't put any former guy into it but Phil Heath. So what I want to tell you is that I think even the guys themselves, the Olympic guys themselves, they are speculating about the fact that Phil Heath this year could do the Olympia. I think they are definitely speculating about this one. So what I want to tell you is that, um, listen guys, we could have Phil Heath on stage. Not so much Kai Green. Kai Green is not qualified at all. That means he's not directly qualified and he is not indirectly qualified through points and he doesn't have any he doesn't have one single point. But if a guy like Kai Green would want to compete there, he just could do a qualification show prior to the Olympia and you know he would have probably no problem winning it and qualifying for the oh so I think if Kyrie would like to do it he definitely could do it I think also what Kai wants to, would want to have is probably a special invite which I think listen guys you know I'm not that against Kai but Kai Green doesn't need a special invite. Kai Green should have to qualify himself to the Olympia like anyone else. He's not, uh, you know, Kevin Lerone who is coming back after 15 years and is over 50 or something. No, you can't compare that. Kai Green is still or could be in his prime, so he has to qualify like anyone else. They shouldn't give any. Uh, 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 special invites for those guys. I'm I'm strictly against it. Write your opinion in the comments. I'm strictly against if Kai shouldn't get that. Definitely not. Definitely not. Kai should not get that. And I, you know, I did the video about Kai being a master troll. And after I did, it, check it out the YouTube dates. You know, the video uploading dates. After I did it recently, Nick did a you know the, the a video about the same exact thing. That's not the problem. But he even called it Master Troll, which I I called my video Master Troll. So people are definitely checking out my stuff and are are loving, you know, they are liking to use my my titles and stuff and it's cool, but when they ignore you, that's not so cool, okay? So I'm not that for it, but I I firstly openly I said it's a master troll he is a master troll and he's probably just trolling us I said that before the announcement check the date but coming to the Olympia again not only it is postponed but it's also not at the old um, venture it's at the Zappos theater Planet Hollywood um, hotel I think and let's just swipe or get into that one um, the unique features are uh, 7000 seats exclusive VIP tables okay impressive acoustics um, great video and projections installations so on so on you can just go on this online you know j j just search it you'll find this site what I want to tell you is that they 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 went to the strip to a more life avenue I would say to a more entertaining avenue it remembers me of the day of Wayne Demilia so I hope and I also think that with the new guy Jake Wood and Dan Solomon I think they really are trying to put the best show up there we had for years so I think you know it is a great move I hope that they will sell out those 7,000 seats. I hope they will sell out lots of VIP uh, uh, tables, I hope. But the thing is why I'm doing this video so long. I have to talk about all this stuff. If you appreciate me talking that long, please write in the comments. If you say, hey, Dennis, you just talk too much. Um, trim down to three to five minutes, which I asked you to. 
re really write it. I'm not I'm not a sensible guy. I'm not a sensitive guy on this thing. Constructive criticism. I'm always open for that. So I think that I remember watching an Olympia video. I was really in Germany. It's like three, four a.m. You have to wake up extra for it. You have to set your clock and stuff. So I was, you know, and I have good internet. But I was it iHerb or something. The live stream was completely horrible. It was horrible. You couldn't, you know, it was the main e event of the year, and you couldn't watch it properly. I mean, we are in 220, you know, we're not in 1980 or something. So what I want as a fan, because if there are 7,000 guys in the theater, that's not the, that's not, you know, 100% of the guys watching the show. That's maybe 7%. So what I tell you is, please guys, put a huge, and if you hear that, Dan Solomon, please put a huge focus on the webcast the commentary of the webcast also you know don't don't ign you know that's important stuff and also the quality of the internet there the the just just the, you know just set up the technical setup that everybody all over the world if they have a good internet that they can stream it in great quality because it's not like football you know where you just have to see the ball and body bowling it makes such a difference if you watch an athlete in 480p or 1080p full HD or even 4K, which probably is not so doable, you know, live as you know what I mean? But it makes such a difference because we are, you know, we are talking about the guys' bodies and stuff. We have to see each striations. We have to see the conditioning because the better we can see it, the better we can say if the judges are doing it correctly. Uh, the more we are happy, and so on, so on. So please, and what I tell you with that, what my offer would be, um, is that I would definitely, I would pay for it. I would definitely pay for it. I think nobody would pay, or most of the guys, they wouldn't pay like box boxing numbers, like $100 for a match and stuff. I don't think so they would do it. I don't think so. But I think, you know, anything from 10 to 20 bucks us dollars they would pay i would also do that of course so please guys do something you know do something what you also can do is do a paid one and a free one so on the same page like you have on some sites um if you want to see it in full hd quality so the it's not, you know, so the the there are not too many people there and the, uh, the connection gets lower, so not everybody can see it. If you want to see it on full HD or even 4K and stuff, you should have a premium, you know, connection to that. So you should pay for the stream. And you have, if you just want to have a 480 or something P, that could be free. You know what I mean? So you could do a mix of that. Or uh, fully VIP um, pay per view, PPU. That's. But if you just do a free one, it's. I think what I think is, and my the, my, my idea behind it is, if you do a free one, like I always, I think the focus is not that much on the live stream, because probably the focus is on the things where you make the most of the money of course we all love the sports but everybody you know we have to you know those organs you know the, the hotels they want to be paid you know the stadium that everybody wants to get paid the athletes they they have to do revenue that's normal so what i would say is really and you can contact me i think you can contact any big guy there you can contact nick but please contact more the media guys the reporters because they know more about this, they have a better idea than I, I would say competitive bodybuilders who you should ask for other stuff, you know, for the all all the streaming stuff. Ask guys like me and other you know YouTubers or other media guys. Just you know, even Sean Ray. I don't know if he's that technical, but let's talk about that. So subscribe to my channel. It's 15 minutes. Let's cut it there. Let's get to 3,000. Tell me your opinion.